Welcome to RenewEnergy.com, your renewable energy and sustainability platform. Desalination and green hydrogen are two technological advancements that hold significant promise for our sustainable future. They are each critical in their own right, addressing two of the world's most pressing issues, the need for clean water and the need for clean energy. Desalination is a process that removes dissolved salts and other minerals from seawater or brackish water, converting it into fresh water that is suitable for human consumption or irrigation. This process is particularly crucial for water-scarce regions, where natural freshwater resources are inadequate to meet the demands of the population and industries. However, desalination is an energy-intensive process, and its environmental impact, particularly when powered by non-renewable energy sources, has raised concerns. Green hydrogen, on the other hand, is a type of hydrogen fuel that is produced using renewable energy sources. Hydrogen is a clean burning fuel, producing only water vapor when combusted. However, the majority of hydrogen production today relies on fossil fuels, resulting in substantial greenhouse gas emissions. Green hydrogen solves this problem by using renewable energy, such as wind or solar power, to split water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen through a process known as electrolysis. The relevance of these technologies in a sustainable future cannot be overstated. With the increasing scarcity of freshwater resources due to climate change and population growth, desalination offers a potential solution to water shortages. Similarly, as the world seeks to transition away from fossil fuels to combat climate change, green hydrogen presents a viable, clean alternative that could replace fossil fuels in various sectors, including industry and transportation. Intriguingly, these two technologies can be integrated. Desalinated water can be used in the electrolysis process to produce green hydrogen. This combination offers a pathway to concurrently address water and energy challenges, especially in regions that are rich in renewable energy resources but poor in freshwater resources. The rest of this video will delve into the intricacies of desalination and green hydrogen, their interconnection, and their relevance in our pursuit of a sustainable future. Understanding Desalination Desalination is the process of removing dissolved salts and other minerals from saline water, such as seawater or brackish water, to produce freshwater that is suitable for human consumption or irrigation. It plays a crucial role in providing an additional water source in regions where fresh water is scarce. The Need for Desalination the need for desalination arises from the reality of water scarcity across many parts of the globe. According to the United Nations, over 2 billion people live in countries experiencing high water stress. A combination of factors such as population growth, industrialization, and climate change contribute to this scarcity. For coastal or arid regions where freshwater sources are limited or non-existent, desalination provides a viable solution to secure a reliable supply of water. Various desalination methods there are several methods for desalination, but the two most commonly used are reverse osmosis RO, and thermal distillation. Reverse osmosis RO, this is the most common type of desalination process. It involves forcing salt water under pressure through a semi-permeable membrane that allows water molecules to pass through but blocks the salts and other impurities. The result is freshwater on one side of the membrane and a highly concentrated brine on the other. Thermal distillation this process involves heating salt water to create steam, which is then condensed and collected as fresh water. The remaining water, now with a higher salt concentration, is often discharged back into the sea. Variations of this method include multi-stage flash, MSF, and multi-effect distillation, MED. Emerging technologies, such as forward osmosis, membrane distillation, and capacitive deionization, show promise but are not yet widely used at the industrial level. Impact of desalination on the environment While desalination provides an important solution to water scarcity, it does have environmental impacts. Energy consumption, desalination processes, especially RO, are energy intensive. This can lead to increased greenhouse gas emissions if the energy is sourced from fossil fuels. Brine disposal, the desalination process produces a highly concentrated saltwater byproduct, known as brine, which is often discharged back into the ocean. This can harm marine ecosystems by increasing salinity levels. Chemical pollution, desalination plants often use chemicals in the pre-treatment and post-treatment stages to prevent membrane fouling and to adjust the potability of the water, respectively. These chemicals can be harmful if not managed properly. Mitigating these impacts is a significant challenge and requires innovative approaches, such as using renewable energy for desalination and developing more environmentally friendly ways of managing brine. Hence, 
While desalination is a critical tool for addressing water scarcity, it needs to be employed in an environmentally responsible manner. Green hydrogen, the future of energy. Green hydrogen, often hailed as the fuel of the future, has the potential to play a vital role in the transition to a more sustainable and clean energy landscape. Explanation of green hydrogen. Hydrogen is a versatile energy carrier with high energy content. When used as a fuel, its only byproduct is water, making it an ideal clean energy source. However, the methods of hydrogen production can be more or less sustainable. Green hydrogen is hydrogen produced through the electrolysis of water, H2O, where electricity used in the process is generated from renewable sources, such as wind, solar, or hydroelectric power. During electrolysis, an electric current is passed through water, causing it to separate into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen is then captured, stored, and can be used as a fuel or energy carrier. Comparison with other types of hydrogen, gray, blue, etc. The color-coded terminology is used to differentiate the methods and environmental impact of hydrogen production. Gray hydrogen, this is the most common form of hydrogen production. It is produced through steam methane reforming, SMR, where natural gas, primarily methane, is reacted with steam to produce hydrogen and carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide is usually released into the atmosphere, contributing to greenhouse gas emissions. Blue hydrogen, this is essentially gray hydrogen, but with the addition of carbon capture and storage, CCS, technology. The carbon dioxide produced in the SMR process is captured and stored underground instead of being released into the atmosphere. While this reduces the carbon emissions of the process, it does not eliminate them entirely. Green hydrogen, as explained above, green hydrogen is produced through electrolysis powered by renewable energy. This method does not involve any greenhouse gas emissions, making it the most sustainable form of hydrogen production. Role of green hydrogen in a clean energy future. Green hydrogen holds significant potential as a cornerstone of a clean and sustainable energy future. Some of its possible applications include Energy storage, renewable energy production can be inconsistent, with peaks and valleys in production due to varying weather conditions. Green hydrogen can serve as a form of energy storage, capturing surplus energy produced during peak times for use during periods of low renewable energy production. Transportation, hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, which use hydrogen as a fuel, emit only water vapor and heat, making them a much cleaner alternative to fossil fuel-powered vehicles. Industrial processes, certain industrial processes require high temperature heat or chemical reactions that are difficult to electrify. Green hydrogen could serve as a clean alternative to fossil fuels in these processes. Heating, in colder regions, green hydrogen could replace natural gas for heating homes and businesses. However, several challenges need to be overcome for green hydrogen to realize its potential, including improving the efficiency and reducing the cost of electrolysis, developing infrastructure for hydrogen transport and storage, and scaling up renewable energy production. Despite these hurdles, green hydrogen remains a promising key player in the pursuit of a carbon-neutral future. Interlinking desalination and green hydrogen. The intersection of desalination and green hydrogen presents an intriguing opportunity for simultaneously addressing water and energy challenges. Using desalinated water for hydrogen production. As explained earlier, green hydrogen is produced by the electrolysis of water, powered by renewable energy. Typically, freshwater is used in this process. However, in regions where freshwater is scarce, but renewable energy, like solar or wind power, is abundant, desalinated water can be used instead. In this model, seawater is desalinated using renewable energy. The resulting freshwater is then used in the electrolysis process to produce green hydrogen. This green hydrogen can serve as a clean, renewable fuel source. Advantages and challenges. Advantages. Water energy nexus, this model provides a pathway to address both water and energy scarcity, particularly in regions with an abundance of renewable energy but lack of freshwater. Clean energy production, green hydrogen is a zero emission fuel. Its use in place of fossil fuels can significantly reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Energy storage, hydrogen serves as an effective means of storing excess renewable energy, which can then be used when renewable energy production is low. Challenges. Energy intensive, both desalination and electrolysis are energy intensive processes. The feasibility of this model depends on the availability and cost effectiveness of renewable energy. 
Technological barriers. Current electrolysis technology is less efficient and more expensive than traditional methods of hydrogen production. Significant advancements in technology are required to make green hydrogen commercially competitive. Environmental impact. Desalination can have environmental impacts, including harm to marine life due to the discharge of brine and potential chemical pollution. Real-world examples or case studies. A few projects around the world are exploring the combination of desalination and green hydrogen production. NEOM project in Saudi Arabia, this is slated to be one of the world's largest green hydrogen projects. It plans to use renewable energy for both desalination and the electrolysis process to produce green hydrogen. H2 REN in Morocco, the H2 REN project aims to use a combination of solar and wind power to desalinate seawater and produce green hydrogen. These projects, among others, highlight the potential of linking desalination and green hydrogen as a pathway to a sustainable future. However, they also underscore the need for further research and development to address the challenges and make this model commercially viable on a large scale. Technological Aspects The link between desalination and green hydrogen production is driven by advancements in technology. Here's an overview of the current state, recent innovations, and potential future developments in both desalination and electrolysis. Current state of technology in desalination and electrolysis. Desalination, the most common technology for desalination is reverse osmosis, RO, which uses a semi-permeable membrane to remove salts and other impurities from seawater. RO systems have been improved over the years to become more energy efficient, but they are still energy intensive and produce a concentrated brine as a byproduct. Electrolysis, the most common types of electrolyzers used in green hydrogen production are alkaline electrolyzers and proton exchange membrane, PEM, electrolyzers. Both technologies have been proven to work at a large scale, but they are still relatively expensive and less efficient compared to the traditional method of hydrogen production through steam methane reforming. Advances and innovations in both fields. Desalination, there have been several recent advancements in desalination technology aimed at increasing energy efficiency and reducing environmental impacts. These include improvements in membrane materials and the development of energy recovery devices. There's also ongoing research into new desalination methods, like forward osmosis and membrane distillation. Electrolysis, research and development in electrolysis technology are focused on improving efficiency and reducing costs. This includes developing new types of electrolyzers, such as solid oxide electrolyzers, which can operate at high temperatures and have the potential to be more efficient than current technologies. There's also ongoing research into using different materials for the electrolysis process to increase efficiency and reduce costs. Potential for future developments. Desalination. The future of desalination technology lies in developing systems that are more energy efficient and environmentally friendly. This could involve the use of renewable energy sources, the development of more efficient membrane materials, and the creation of sustainable methods for brine disposal. Thank you for choosing RenewEnergy.com as your go-to source for all things renewable energy and sustainability. With our YouTube channel, we explore the latest developments and innovations in the field, including hydrogen fuel cells and the use of AI and machine learning to optimize energy consumption. If you're ready to take the next step towards a cleaner, more sustainable future, visit us at RenewEnergy.com and discover the many ways we can help you transition to renewable energy. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Stay up to date on all the latest news and insights by subscribing today.